Hi guys, hit film tutorial number 3, cropping and panning and zooming. When you have a picture like this, you can crop it this way. And when a video like this Hi, one, you can crop it too. And panning and zooming over a picture, is this what you're seeing? You can also Thank pan and zoom so, so over a video. Let's see how to do this with the film express. Let's open up the film. Windows key, type hit, and there is it. Click on it. Hit film express. Let's create a new project. Click on new, and we go from home to project. Select your project setting and then start editing. We'll go from the project tab to the edit tab. First, let's crop a picture. Let's import a picture as we learned in our second tutorial. Click on import, then this PC, pictures, and let's select one. This might be right. I click, open, and comes to the media panel. This is the picture, then we drag it to the timeline, click on it and drag it, and here is some picture. Now, let's look at the preview window. We have to fix the size, it's easy, just click on this, and drag. You can also drag here, and here is, this is a picture. Let's use the zoom slider a little, let's zoom in, okay. Our picture is lasting of about 5 seconds, here in the timeline. Let's see it, play, erase it, there is no movement because it's a picture, but it's lasting too much. So, over its border, click and drag. Position the marker over it, and this is our picture. We would like to crop. I would like a close-up of this girl's face. How can we do that? Well, as we saw in our previous tutorial, to make any special effect, just click on the clip, right click and then make composite shot. Let's call this, their picture goes up. Ok, and here is it, the composite shot. We're creating the girl picture close up composite shot. We still have the editor tab, click on it. This is the editor timeline, where we can see all the clips we have, and in this tab is only the composite shot of this clip. Click on it. And as we learned in our previous tutorial also, every time we're gonna make a composite shot, we'll go here, in workspace. From the editing workspace we're now, from editing to compositing, click on it. And this is the new appearance. This picture is this. If you click this, the picture becomes highlighted in blue. Let's zoom in a little. How? Let's crop this picture. Click on this drop down arrow, transform, the scale, and if you want to zoom in, just increase this number, 100, what about 150, press enter, and then you get closer, later you can adjust the position exactly here, just dragging, I would still like this picture to be closer, again, let's change this from 150 to 200, press enter, and now we have a close up there, I like that, that is how you crop a picture, very easy. Just make a composite shot, transform, and change its scale. Now let's do the same with a video. Go back to the editor tab, and to trim a portion of a video, we will need the trimmer. So, we go from the workspace, composting, to editing. Click on editing. And now let's import a video. Click on import, this PC, videos, and let's use this one. Click on it, open, and comes to the media panel. There is it. Let's do some portion of this video. Let's play this. Okay. That is right, she said her name. Your friends back. At this moment. And as we learned in our previous tutorial, set it point, let's play that little. Hey guys, it's Kat and welcome back to my channel. If you are new, then my name's Kat and 
enough. Let's set this play as the setup point. Click on this. And from this 6 minutes long video, we are trimming a 5 seconds clip. So position the marker, overlay clip, and let's drag. So they're together. To use in the rest of the tutorial, let's import also another picture. This PC, pictures, and let's use this one. Now drag into the timeline. Position the marker, overlay clip, and let's trim another part of the video. Click, let's activate all the video, click at the beginning, setting point, click at the end, setup point. Now let's look for the moment she says goodbye. Could be over here, let's play this. Start. Hey guys! Well, a few frames back. There. This will be the same point. Let's play this a little, play. Hey again, thank you guys so, so much for staying till the end. That's really cool. I really hope you enjoyed. Of course, let me know in the comments what you Stop, set up point, and then overlay clip. Click, and then this is our video. Look at this. First, we have the picture we have just cropped. We play this. It lasts a few seconds, then it's a new video. Hey guys, it's Kat and welcome back to my channel. If this you're new, crop it too. my name's Kat and... It will pan in zoom over this picture and then... Hey again, thank you guys so so much for staying till the end. That's video. really cool. Well, let's do that. Let's start by cropping this video. At this moment, look at this. Hey guys, it's Kat and welcome back to my channel. Okay, I would like a close-up of this girl face. Right click on the video, make composition. Let's call this video close up, composition, okay? And let's make a composite show of this clip. It's a clip that lasts about 5 seconds, let's look at this. Hey guys, it's Kat and welcome back to my channel. If you are new, then my name's Kat and... Let's make a composite show of this, doing a close up of the face. Click on the drop down arrow, transform, and then scale is at 100%. Let's increase it to 150. Press enter. This is a close up. I like that. Let's play the video again. Hey guys, it's Kat and welcome back to my channel. If Let's get a little bit closer. 170. Okay, let's position it better. Click on the video. And like this will be okay. Let's play this. Hey guys, it's Kat and welcome back to my channel. If Love you are that. new, then my name's Kat and... That is all. We crop the video. Let's go back to the editor tab, click on it. And now in this clip, she appears in a close-up. Hey guys, it's Kat and welcome back... That is right. Now let's make some panning and zooming over this picture. How? Right click on it, make composite shot, and let's call it picture panning and zooming composite shot. Okay, again, it's a video of 5 seconds, look at this, there is no any movement. Let's go to the beginning. I would like to get close to this girl's face, stay a while, then go to this girl's face, still in a close up, and then again, full picture. Let's do that, through keyframing. Click on the drop down arrow, transform, let's activate the keyframing by clicking in position, appears the keyframing, and scale, and appears the keyframing. So at the beginning of this video, this will be the scale and the position, but I would like that at this moment, to be close to the girl, so the scale will be about 170, press enter, let's position this better, Maybe a little closer, 180, press enter. I like that. Look at our video right now. Let's play this. Play. That is all we've done now. A close to the girl. I would like to stay at her face for a while. So, let's select this by clicking and dragging. Press Ctrl C to copy. Position the marker, press Ctrl V to paste. And now let's move again. I would like at this moment, the position would be this one. I would like to stay at her face for a while, so click and drag, Control c position the marker later, 
then control me. Look at our video right now. Let's play this. Stay, move, stay, okay. And then I'll go back to the full screen. Position the marker. And again, I scale 100. And let's position it dragging. Let's play this. Love that. Now let's go panning and zooming over a video. Click at the editor's tab. And let's do some panning and zooming over this last clip. Let's look at this. Thank you guys so so much for staying till the end. That's really cool. I would like to get closer to her face. I stay for a while and then go back to full screen. So you know how. Right click on the clip. Make composite shot. Let's call this video padding and zooming composite shot. Okay? Last clip is about six seconds long. Look at this. Hey again, thank you guys so so much for staying till the end. That's really cool. I really hope you enjoyed. Well <laughs> let's start with the close-up. Click on the drop down arrow, transform, and let's adjust its position because we want to change the position and the scale too. Automatically appears the two keyframes. So our video will start with this position and with this scale. But I would like that at this moment we be closer to her face. So the scale will be about 180 per center. Let's change its position, dragging. Love this. I would like to keep at this position and scale for a while until this moment. So I'm going to check this, select, press Ctrl C on my keyboard, and then with the marker over here, press Ctrl V. It repeats. Look now. From the beginning, let's play. Hey again, thank you guys so so much for staying till the end. That's really cool. I really hope you enjoyed. Of course, let me know in the comments. Wait. Well, I would like that at the end of the video, come back to full screen. So, scale 100% per center and change the position, adjust it like this. So, this will be our video. Let's play this. Hey again, thank you guys so so much for staying till the end. That's really cool. I really hope you enjoyed. Of course, let me know in the comments. Wait. Well, let's export this. Remember how? Clicking at this button, export content. But if you export from here, this frame will only export this composite shot. So go back to the editor tab, where you can see all the clips, and then export. Export content, go to export, and here is it. MP4 format, this resolution is okay to me, and the output, a folder I have on my desktop. Let's call this, and fill tutorial number 3, save, and then it's time to start exporting. Click on this, and it has begun. It slowly goes on, and a few minutes later, it would be completed. Well, that was our cropping and panning and zooming tutorial. Please tell me that you like it. See you in the next tutorial.